G'day YouTube viewer, my name is JJ, welcome back to Rad Rolling All Day. This video is going to be all about getting back to driving with a disability. So I've managed to start the process, I've gone for one driving lesson so far, I've renewed my license, a uh, temporary license, sort of like a medical one, I had to go and see the doctor and he had to sign a bit of paper and then I had to go to transport department and get my license back. So it's all been a bit of a process so far. And I'm going to try and go through the step-by-step -step guide online through total ability that you can follow. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. So I hope you guys like the video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and comment and all that stuff. Alrighty guys, let's go through the steps. Step one is preparation. This is where you need to figure out your level of injury and what kind of driver aids you need, funding, how you're going to pay for these things, also where you live, what kind of requirements the state or territory that you live in need for you to get back to driving. Step two is finding your key contacts, driving trained occupational therapist, your specialist driving instructor, your installer. Having the right people on board is crucial for this to run smoothly. Step three is getting assessed. This is an assessment that will take place with your OT. The goal of the assessment is to gauge the capability that you have to drive and determine what your strengths and weaknesses are in your body. This is so your OT can start understanding what driving equipment will best suit you moving forwards. And step four, this is the step that I'm up to. I've had one driving lesson so far and I tried a few different um, modifications to the test van. So some of the different things you can get in the van are panoramic or fisheye mirrors, fold away headrest if driving from wheelchair, indicator extenders, wheelchair restraints, docking stations, voice command, push button start, gear shifter, electronic handbrake, various spinner knobs for different abilities and customization for hand controls, automatic door openers, ramps, platform lifts. I also tried two different joysticks. So um, it's very interesting and there's a lot of different things to try. So hopefully you can see in my video what I got to try and uh, how difficult it actually was just to pick it up. So I was using two joysticks, one joystick for steering and one for throttle and brake. It was actually a bit difficult to get the hang of it. Also you can see in this particular van, it's a uh, Volkswagen multivan. I actually sit a bit high for it. so. My head was a bit close to the ceiling um, and when I was driving it was the brakes are real touchy and the steering's quite touchy as well so yeah it's gonna take a fair few uh, lessons I reckon to get the hang of it and some you know fine-tuning of controls and stuff but you can see you know if you start to get a bit too much brake mm -hmm. that's then pushing your whole body forward yeah. which means you can apply all the brake then yeah. I think. And just, yeah, just take it really, really slow. Pull fast, it's up to you. Yeah, so before you get there, get the correct speed. So you're not worrying about your right hand, you're just worrying about steering in. So if you get a little bit of brake here, that's it. And now don't worry about the brake, just worry about your steering now. So that way you just start to only focus on one thing at a time. And then we go, all right, we're happy with the steering, now we can start to, to drive you. You're rolling onto the brake when you've got steering, rolling to the side when you still got steering. And left. <laughs> 